Hey guys, so today I'm doing a DIY hair mask using half of an avocado, two tablespoons of honey, and two tablespoons of coconut oil. So it's really simple. All I'm going to use is a bowl for mixing, a tablespoon, and a fork for mashing. So here goes. I'm gonna mash it in sections just so it's a little easier to mash. Oh boy, let me try not to make a mess. It took me super long to get this video done simply because I really like avocado and I always eat them and they never actually make it to my hair. <laughs> but the last time I did do an avocado mask, it was everything. So I'm just gonna go through and crush it up in pieces. As much as I would love to add some seasoning to this and get some chips, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it moving. This batch is going in my head. So it's okay if you don't get it completely, completely smooth. It's okay if there's a little bit of lumps in there. Just use the fork and try to get it as smooth as you can. Now at this point, let me just use it out the bottle. This is just coconut oil. I just keep it in a squeezy tube because it's much easier to use. And, okay. I'm going to put some coconut oil. This particular one is from Trader Joe's and I'm doing two tablespoons of it. Get off all the excess product. Waste nothing and make a mess all over the counter because of course I did not bring a tissue today. And then let me just beat that on in as well. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. Which I actually like to put on a spoon after the coconut oil because the coconut oil helps it to slide off. Slowly, but <laughs> you get all the honey off of it. But whatever, let's keep it moving. Second. Um, this particular brand of honey, I think I got at Costco or BJ's. Um, I'm trying to stop drinking things with sugar, so I use honey to sweeten things instead. So I always buy this stuff in bulk. So now I'm going to put the honey in, along with the avocado and the coconut oil. We're going to continue to mix. So let me give you all the specs. Honey is a humectant and an emollient, making it good at attracting and retaining water. Coconut oil seals in moisture into the hair, therefore making it shinier and stronger. Coconut oil also contains vitamin E and K, which nourish the hair and scalp. Avocados now, not only do they taste delicious, but they contain vitamin E and B, which is essential for hair growth. Avocados are also full of their own oils, which are highly humectant and emollient. So, this is clearly a great combination that should be living in your hair head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate my hair into four sections, and then I'm gonna apply the mixture from tips to roots, simply because the ends of your hair are the oldest parts and they dry out a lot faster. 
I'm gonna let it sit in my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let that delicious guacamole thing marinate. And then what I'm gonna do is wash it out with shampoo. The shampoo that I'm using today is going to be Talia Wajid's Clean and Curly. And then I'm gonna follow up with Talia Wajid's Enhancing Herbal Conditioner. Very simple. So let me know if you've tried this recipe and let me know how much you loved it because I'm sure you will. And also I'm always trying different hair recipes so if you guys think of any or if you've tried any that have worked great for you, leave them down below. I'd love to see them and I'd love to try them out as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy journey to healthy hair. Love you guys dearly. Be sure to stop on by my website, ojanelle.com, and to check out my recent videos, click the links up above. Love you guys. Mwah.